Hey, it's Nikki, Outdoor Healing 1111, clearing the air. Spirits, guides, and angels, and ancestors are in the house. I'm going to cut the deck. I've already saged my room. The face is all red. I'm back in the gym. Just wanted to stop by and say hello. We're going to work on some chakras this morning. That's a big thing that I work on. Healing, knowing, understanding, healing, loving. Oh, one flip. Oh, almost had a whole story. I'm going to flip that and... Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be in the name of thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, forgive those who trespass against us, and thine to be just Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Divine God, come in. Michael, Claria, Haleron, Chiron, all your love gods. Any assistance that you need, just have them come in. Yo, let's do this reading, right? Okay, so we have a, an imposter who showed up. The Knight of Cups is moving forward. His mask is off. If you've been following me for a while, you do know that he has had his mask. He hadn't been sure. I guess he had some things to clear up in his life, but he's headed in the right direction now. He's finally coming into his place and his purpose, and he's on a journey to find his soulmate. That's what I'm getting from the cards. He's going to cross a lot of waters to get to her. Unexpected. She makes him kind of shy and timid. Um... The horse's head is down. He's coming in peace. He's offering his cup of love. That's confirmation from spirit. I feel it coming in. So it's always okay to believe that true happiness is, comes within, and then you reflect that back in the universe. Okay, so Father God, Father God, show me, show me, show me the first chakra today. Whew, feeling energy and anxiety. I understand. It's the crystal quartz right here. Let's align it. Father God, show me, show me, show me. The Magician. The Magician, if you see, is number one. He started his journey. This is the first step. All of the sunshine he's manifesting in the back. Warm weather, guidance, love, abundance. His heart is open like... I can feel it. Citron is yellow. It's I do. I do get it now. Like, I understand is what Sovereign is telling me. That there's lilies and flowers. He's manifesting abundance. He has his pentacle and his cup and his wand... And a sword, he's laying them on the table. He's laid his cards out. He, she, divine, feminine, it all can transpire. It could be the cross watcher. It could be a um, cup. It could be a wand. It could be fire. It could be air. It could be energy. But right now, the magician is manifesting the abundance. He is bringing forth the cup of his new journey and his new life. So then we go into the third eye chakra, which is my pretty purple heart. And in this one, I guess we get to see. That's what it kind of basically means. But let's see where this journey takes this individual, whether it be female, whether it be male. I'm getting a sense in this reading this morning that it's male. So sometimes I try not to do the energy based on things that are going on in my life to clear and cleanse. So Father God, ooh, okay. Cutting some things out. Unstable. Five. Fighting things, battles, maybe battles in his head, maybe people in order to get to this journey, maybe people from his past. Um, or she no longer serves them. They have done the fighting. They have manifested with the wands. They've planted the seeds. This is the new direction. And the people behind him can keep fighting over it. Like, he's gone. He's out. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this cup is in my way. It's driving me crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't even know why I put it there, but it's there. It's on my desk. My desk is a mess. Okay, the third chakra is always going to be the throat chakra, right? It's kind of like when I do a reading and spirit doesn't want me to speak my mind. Um, it's a soda light, I guess. It's S-O-D-A-L-I-T-E. That's the next stone that's coming out. It's a really, really pretty stone. It's blue. We're going to put that one down there. And let's see what we have here. Let's speak our mind. After you manifest it, after you bring in your cups, after you're, oh, Spirit just led me again and wanted me to say, like, they are so humble. Like, the new journey and the experience in itself to actually go out on this journey and find what you're looking for. I guess we, we always wish, right? And we self-sabotage, which we need to work on. But I'm feeling something from Spirit in the air that, like, could have been going on for years. Like, walking the same path but just waiting for the person to show up that's what i'm feeling 444 four, four, it's kind of divided i seen it i looked up it was 444 four, four. stable um stable in the in the heart chakra which is this one. Oh no we're on three i'm sorry 
That's speaking your mind, telling people where you're headed. And the third chakra, show me, show me, show me, Father God. Oh, we got two. The Ace of Pentacles, which is an offer from Spirit. We have another one hitting the table. One is a new beginning. It's a start. It's believing. And it's a gift from God. It's a gift from your ancestors. If you look in the opening behind, that's clouds, daydreaming. You've prophesied this. You're abundant. The gift is coming. It's a cup of love and money. Whoever this is worked hard for this. They are on the right journey. They will speak their mind. They will speak their peace. They will speak it into fruition, their peace that they're now incurring. We also got two cards, which I don't normally get, but you got a closing out of a cycle too. It's gone. It's in the past. You've worked hard. This person has struggled. It's ten of wands. You put the groundwork in. I see the gladness in my work. I see the divine stepping in. I see from above that you put your time and effort in. I'm now going to bless you. It's like planting the seed. You have to water it. And the sun has to hit it. And it has to grow. It has to manifest. It has to build, ferment. But the plant just doesn't happen overnight. So sitting patiently, divinely guided, watching you struggle, the heavens are going to step in now and help you out. And it's because you deserve it. So don't think it's not because you deserve it. So then we go to the heart chakra, which is four, which is my green stone. Okay. I love Torin is the stone on this one. I absolutely love. I am a love bug. But people make the mistake. They say I'm a hopeful, rom I mean, hopeless romantic. No, you're a hopeful romantic. Whatever you see and you wish becomes fruition. It, it comes in, you manifest it. Show me what you love. Show me in this reading. What is in search the love here? Holy fuckers. I mean, I can't. This is wonderful. This is fulfillment. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the direction that the hard work and the pentacles and the love. This is God, solely God, divine. I can't even talk. My throat chakra is all closing up. Divine is saying, live in abundance. Be excited. I have the chills. Like, he is saying you deserve this. Like, you are a love bug. Whoever's watching this, this is your time. You're going to get it all. You waited patiently. You did the work. You worked on you. You loved you. Your ancestors are pleased. You've changed the direction of a family cycle. You have closed it out. You struggled day. I want to cry. I'm so sad. Struggled day by day to find your true abundance. And it's here. It found you. Walking your path with your soulmate and not even knowing it. I love that. I love happiness. It's happy life, happy wife, the family, the kids, the car, the whole nine yards. It is yours. Take it. Ooh, I don't even want to go on a Citron, which is yellow, is the solar plexus. I do. Will she say I do? Will he say I do? What's going to happen next, Father God? Divine spirits. You know, Guardian Michael. Whoa, okay. Moving forward. Three, unity. Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. If you believe... I will stand firm with you. You have planted your wands. You know where you're headed. You have put this out there into the universe. And you do get rewarded for it. You do get rewarded. Who the ships are coming in. You are just overlooking the water side. Like your soulmate may be with you right now, confirmation. And they are like looking out into the world saying, Where the heck did you come from? Like where? Where did you come from? Like, I deserve you. I love you. I see you. I see what you bring to the table. I understand now. I get it. You're not supposed to stick to square in a circle and think it's going to happen. It just doesn't happen like that. I feel it. I feel it coming like the edge of time that's coming next. Our sixth chakra. I feel love. I feel growth. I feel it. I feel it with everything that I got. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, show me, show me, show me. What do you feel? feel today what is the outcome of this journey show me show me show me father god what is it show me come on angel spirits and guys show me whoa we got two again that doesn't normally happen i'm gonna take them both five cups three spilled over thinking about the past when you're looking out at this view please don't self-doubt i feel it you feel the love that is coming there are offers from heaven don't you give up Feel it. Your chakra, which is your sixth chakra, which is orange, which is cornelian. You are out of alignment. So you understand, you feel, you speak, you love. I'm sorry. You do, you understand, you love, you feel. 
you're struggling with this one. This is your six. In order to get to your ten of pentacles and your ten of cups, which are there in love, you still need to get through six, which is your sh your sac can't talk. sacral shocker. Okay? That's, I feel. you got to let universe let you feel the love. That's past. This is present. Past causes anxiety. Present, divinely guided. Here, enjoy it, embrace it, open up, share your heart space. Talk to your gods. Ask God. There are two people divinely guided to stand in front of unity with the Lord. Spirit and religion and balance. These are on the same path. Five. A little unstable. A little unsure. That's why you're seeking your higher ups. In order to get to seven, which is your root chakra, to understand that you really do believe I am abundant, I am secure, I am able, I am willing, I'm accepting love that the universe has given me. I am powerful. I am manifesting abundance. I am worthy. I am divine. I am a God-fearing whatever. Fill in the blanks. Buddhist, Christian, atheist, whatever you believe. This is you. Last chakra. It's my red one. It's my red jasper. The ending, the root, the darkness, the colors that represent... The sun, the moon, the stars, love, water, hard space, your quartz, your love, pink, you know, make sure you wear your protection. So many people have interrupted this divine intervention, but as they say, this too shall pass. But if God wants it done in his time and only in his time, show me the outcome for root chakra. Show me, show me, show me. In order to get there, you must break the cycle. Three of swords. He or she cuts something out. No longer wants their heart to hurt. They now are understanding. I am stopping my own progression in love. I am feeling the heartbreak, the sorrow, the sadness from the past. And I'm accepting the responsibility in the present, knowing that my past does not define who I am. That I am moving forward in my root chakra. To balance myself and align myself to the divine so that I can find my true purpose that will guide me to true happiness. And that's not always love or money or whatever. It's what it is for you. That's a completion. You're going to carry some strength with you. The person's been in hangman. All you have to do is let yourself go. Stop judging you. We judge ourselves the most. The empress who stands firmly looking back on fertility in the past, love, new, abundance, her wrath, the red robe, shows that she is able, luxurious. She's a diva. Or he's a goddess. This is divine. This is like, he's the antarchy of life. And he is coming, or she, for the opposite partner. There's that Queen of Cups offering. There's the cups that stop at the top. All the heartbreak is out. All the bad stuff is gone. You've done the work. You're moving forward. Quickly moving in and stopping the bad and moving forward. Six of Pentacles. Working hard. Justice is being served. People in due time will serve their own karma. Remember, don't wish it. But the universe does see it. They do know that if you have put into manifestation good and powerful thoughts and you've walked away with your pride and your self-dignity and set boundaries, you will manifest your abundance because it's a reward for you believing and being faithful. Temperance card, weighing out your options. Which way to go? Which way to go? Which way to go? Forward. There's only one way. Forward. Because there's a rear view mirror, so you don't you can't drive backwards in your car. You can look back briefly. It looks nice from the view. But the windshield is much larger than the rear view mirror. That means God wants you to see that the picture is so much bigger in front of you. You just can't see it all. Some of us wear glasses. Some of us wear bifocals. Clear your lenses. Only way to move forward. No indecision. Forward. And finally, that final offer of love. The Ten of Cups. The new offer of life. The gift from God with pentacles. It's a complete balance of all your chakras. Whoever this is, is coming into flu 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 fluition. Please, like, share. Anytime you get to watch this. Sometimes it occurs, sometimes it don't. But this is the Six of Cups. This is putting in the time. This is getting the love of your life. This is a soulmate. I'm going to put in one oracle real quick. I'm going on like 15 minutes here. And I got, ooh, 
All right, I'm going to take the one that flipped late. Stillness. Sit by the water. Think about it. Manifest it. That boat is there. It's up to you to get in. What journey are you on? You're going somewhere. But you're not going to the past. The past is gone. Move forward. Share in your new space, wherever you're going. The trees are there. It's calm. Be still. Meditate. Stillness is an opportunity. Enjoy it. God has provided the abundance of being outside. Go and enjoy it. That's why I'm outdoor healing 1111. There's nothing more than like being in Mother Nature and enjoying the experience of being still. Be still and know that I am the Lord. That's where you get your answers. Be still. Have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe. If you like me, comment it. We'll get back to each other later. This is a general reading. Thanks for stopping by. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Wake up Wednesday to your new life. Move forward. Love and kisses. Have a great day.